is a laptop connected to the charger but it's still not charging. As you can see, I'm experiencing this issue with my laptop and today I will answer you how you can resolve this problem, the causes and the solutions, as well as how to avoid it. Without further delay, let's get to the topic of this video. So here you go my friends, first let's understand why this happened, then we are going to learn how to fix and how to prevent it. And remember, this video is a response to a comment from a subscriber of this channel. And I always tell you guys to leave a comment and a questions and I can make a video address them and resolving new problems. Alright, so what happens? It's quite common. You buy a charger that is different from your laptop original one. Your original charger may have burned out, so you go and buy a generic, a universal charger. And that's one of the causes that can prevent your battery from charging. You connect it and it doesn't charge at all. And this can cause it because there may be a voltage and impairage in compatibility. You can check this on your laptop charger. You can check it on the back. You can also look at the battery at the back of the laptop. That's where you can check if they are compatible and if they are not compatible, it can already be a cause and fact. Another cause could be the following. It may be due to a lack of BIOS update. And if that's the case, it's more a complex procedure and I suggest you to seek a technician. So don't try to do it yourself as it can go wrong and cause further damage. In addition to that, driver's updates can also be affected. And if that's the case, it's not that complicated to resolve. And I will show you how to do in a bit. Okay, so first let's take a look at the cause. Another cause could be overheating. So this laptop, for example, it used to get very hot and it can also be the cause. If it's getting too hot, it may be due to the dirt in your laptop's vents. If you look at the side of your laptop, there are some fans and if you cover the part, it can end up overheating, lack of cleaning of your laptop. It could also be residual power, could also be an issue with the charger itself, the power supply. And how do you check that? If you look at the power supply and the LED light isn't turned on like you can see here with the mine, that can also be one of the causes if it doesn't light up. It should light up, like this one here. This power supply is, com is comfortable, it's from the same brand as the laptop, so that's not the problem, because they are comfortable. Both the charger and the laptop. They are the same model and amperage, so those are the cause, and it can be any of those things. So now let's start resolving the issues. As I mentioned before, one of the causes could be BIOS updated. I won't show you how to do it in this video, but if it's an outdated drive, I will show you how to solve it. My battery is acting so crazy, it's saying it's charged 255%. So here's the thing. First, you're gonna have to take a look at Windows itself. See if there are any pending drives updates. So go to Start menu, type Windows. Windows update, click on check for updates. Now please note that for me there is an update but I need to restart my computer. Since I'm recording, I won't do that, but you should do if you have any updates. See if you resolve the issue and go ahead and update. If there are no pending updates in this location, you can also check that by searching Google. And with that, I will recommend you a very good and important program that I always use. On Google, you are going to type Drive Booster Download. Then you're going to install it in your computer, your laptop. It's very easy and I will also leave a video that shows the step-by-step -step process of how to use it. A complete tutorial and I won't show you in this video but that's another option. Then see if it resolves your problem, how your battery is doing. If it hasn't been resolved, let's move on to the next steps. You are going to shoot down your laptop, I'll shoot mine down here. You can do an Alt F4 or click on the start menu to shut it down, okay? Once it's shut it down, I'll resume this video. While it's shutting down, let me give you an extra tip that you can also try. You can take out your battery of your laptop and use a toothbrush to clean the connectors. Take some isopropyl alcohol and clean this part of the battery, okay? You can also do this on the part of your laptop where it makes contact with the battery. Let me show you how to do it. It could be a contact issue or even dirt causing the problem. Sometimes in ET matters, so we need to perform those tests to troubleshoot. So let's go. If you have tried all of the things that I told you and didn't work, so what do you do? You shoot down the laptop as I told you, remove the battery, set it aside, wait for about 10 to 15 seconds and then try to turn it again. Put the battery back in place and power on the laptop.
Perform all those tasks, cleaning the connector, updating drives, everything. And if it doesn't work or solve the problem, the issue, it's always good to update your drivers. So if none of that works, let's move on to the next step right here. This one will definitely solve the issue. So what do you do? Connect the charger, remove the battery, set it aside, and hold on the power button for 40 to 60 seconds. And when you do this, you are performing a BIOS update, which means you don't have to update it. This will resolve the problem for many people. And after holding down the power button for that amount of time, you put the battery back in place. Make sure it's properly connected because sometimes it's not securely attached. So now let's turn on the laptop after this procedure. Simple press the power button again to start up and while it's powering, I will share some tips on how to prevent the issue. So first, as I mentioned before, the air vents needs to be clear. Some people place the, the laptop on, on beds and covers them with pillow. So avoid doing that. You should keep the vents unobstructed, just like with the desktop computers. We tend to cove everything on laptops, but that's not ideal. The way you transport your laptop also matters. It can potentially dam both the battery and the laptop itself. And as I mentioned earlier, I always use compatible accessories and component to preserve everything in your laptop. And as you can see right now, I can now charge my laptop normally. And I hope I was able to help you. If none of the solutions have worked for you, it's very likely it's a motherboard issue, which is one of the major problems that I can occur. And if to help you, please leave a comment, like the video, and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing.